Let's write a C program to check if the user entered character is a special symbol or not. Here are the ASCII values for special symbols that is 0 to 47, 58 to 64, 91 to 96, 123 to 127 or whatever is greater than 123 that is 123 to 255. So here is the general form of ternary operator expression 1 is the condition. If this condition which is present in expression 1 is true then expression 2 gets executed. If the condition in expression 1 is false then expression 3 gets executed. So with this basic knowledge let's write the C program to check if the user entered character is special symbol or not. I'll take a variable called ch of data type char. I'll ask the user to enter a character and store it inside the address of variable ch. Percentage %c is the format specifier for character data type. So here is the general form of ternary operator. So I'm writing the condition now that is expression 1. So ch the character entered by the user if it's greater than or equal to 0 and ch is less than or equal to 47 then it's special character okay or else if the user entered character is greater than or equal to 58 and less than or equal to 64 then it's a special character uh, let me align this a bit I'll take this down let's bring up the chart once again if ch that is user entered character which is present in variable ch is greater than or equal to ascii value 91 and if user entered character is less than or equal to ascii value 96 then it's a special character or another case if user entered character is greater than 123 you need not mention 255 because 255 is the last ASCII digit so ASCII value so whatever is greater than 123 uh, must be a special character so if any of these condition is met then this expression 2 gets executed that is character entered is a special symbol if else this third expression gets executed which I am going to let me copy and paste this okay so if the condition is false then the character entered is not a special symbol okay don't get confused with these brackets be clear align it for that reason so let me execute it so I'll give dollar symbol which is a special symbol okay it's showing let me enter new line character here let me compile and execute it I'll give small letter A which is not a special symbol I'll give capital letter Z now which is not a special symbol too I'll give a digit that is I'll give 5 which is not a special symbol I'll give hash which is a special symbol is a special symbol okay so this is the source code so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you